Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're going to discuss examples of anaerobic activities. So we're going to go into specifics of the difference between the lactic and the alactic um, uh, activities, but right now I just want to talk about things that are mostly uh, anaerobic in general with the, the meaning I'm not making my energy with oxygen. So something like this might be, uh, you know, the, the act of jumping during a basketball game. It might be uh, a sprint to an open puck in ice hockey. That's a top of mind example for me. It might be a set of six uh, in the gym on your deadlift or your bench press or whatever. It might be a set of one on the deadlift or the bench press. But those two sets might be different energy systems, though they're both aerobic. OK, and we'll get into the differences later on, you know, even a set of 10, even a set of 15, even though we say it's for muscular endurance, it's really pretty anaerobic. Um, what else? You know, I like I like pens and notebooks. Writing is another one. Um, thinking activities are no writing i forgot what video we're doing those aren't anaerobic those are aerobic so i misspoke but you caught me right okay um anaerobic activities we we talked about repeated jumping it's you know a lot of this is like sporting movements or things that somebody might call athletic um you might also have to you know, impromptu pick someone up and carry them, that activity is probably, depending on how fast you're moving or how hot the burning building is, um, that's going to be more and more anaerobic as the intensity ramps up. So our theme here is something that doesn't last forever, doesn't last more than a minute or two, and uh, is intense. It is, um, it requires a lot of uh, willpower to complete to uh, full exertion. Hopefully that makes sense. Anaerobic activities are things that are quick, intense, uh, don't last very long, and they don't require oxygen.